Very scary moments for a family whose five-week-old baby almost died. The child had to be emergency airlifted to get help when doctors could not pin down this problem. RTV6's Stephanie Wade sits down with the Winchester family and their doctors who have this crucially important warning for parents. At just five weeks old, this baby girl was on heart, kidney, and lung bypass. And given a 9% chance to live, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong until she was airlifted here to Riley Hospital. More than extraordinary, truly heroic measures taken to arrive at a successful and glorious story for this young lady. Oh. Now four years old, Kendall Shoemaker is a strong, healthy little girl. But during her first few weeks here on Earth, that was not the case. Seeing her on all the machines, it was definitely devastating. Shortly after birth, Kendall developed whooping cough, they believe from her siblings. A little surprised. I knew my other children at home had been coughing some. Little babies, unfortunately, don't have the muscle strength to generate good, strong coughs. And so instead, what happens is that when they attempt to cough, they just stop breathing. I explained to them I had not been vaccinated. I had never even heard that there was a vaccination for uh, pregnant mothers. Rebecca Shoemaker says her OBGYN YN never asked or recommended she get vaccinated for pertussis, another name for whooping cough. I certainly hope that OBs across the state and country are doing that, but there isn't a mandate to be vaccinated, and unfortunately that presents opportunities for children who can't yet be vaccinated to contract communicable diseases that are otherwise preventable. Dr. Brian Leland treated Kendall when she first arrived at Riley and says all women during pregnancy should have the Tdap vaccine, which protects Attacks against pertussis and other diseases. It's not until six weeks old that babies are able to get their first vaccinations. So it's up to mothers to build that immunity for them. There's no way to predict a unfortunate or tragic event, but vaccination can prevent life-threatening illnesses. A recommendation this mother wishes she was given back then. Just don't forget uh, that life is fragile and it can change in one split second. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. And doctors urge if you're pregnant to ask your doctors about vaccines if they don't already recommend them to you.